All right, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play Dalek Attack. Uh, Dalek Attack is based on, as you can see, if you were around in the mid 70s from this uh, intro, uh, it's based on the long running television show Doctor Who. It's actually the third longest uh, British science fiction show of all time, uh, which is really saying something. Now, uh, the theme tune was uh, composed by Ron Grainer. Uh, at Television Center. Uh, let me just get my cursor out of the way. Sorry about this, I'm new to recording! Uh, pretty famous song, I'll shut up for a minute. Actually, this logo was... Uh, it doesn't belong in this version of the um, introduction sequence. Uh, it's actually from the modern series. And there you see the title characters, the Daleks. Uh, that was a speech actually ripped from an episode, Exodus of the Daleks. Uh, and oh, uh, if, if you just stand idle, you get a uh, BBC copyright image. And then we're going to see some high scores in a second. And it's, there's actually a really neat little Easter egg to the high scores. Yeah. Eventually, once they start uh, going. Now, you'll notice a pattern in these first names. They're actually the first names of the production team. Uh, Sylvester, I think, was, you know, the director. Colin and Peter were lead programmers. Uh, Ace, Tegan, and Sarah were working on character designs. Uh, this game came out for the Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore 64. Uh, I'm playing the DOS version. Uh, different versions have, well, differences obviously with the way um, the hardware works, especially between, say, this and the Amiga versus the Commodore version, uh, but also different lineups once we get to character select. Now, this isn't me, sorry to say, uh, it's actually uh, kind of spoilery, so we're going to skip, it's just a demo. Now, we hit fire here on the title screen and get right into the plot. Earth year 2254 planet Skaro. Dave Ross, in the presence of the Emperor Dal Dalek, excuse me, addresses the battle command. Um, now, Dave Ross is actually a bit of a mistake. Um, that's the name of the actor who played the character. The actual mad scientist who created the Daleks uh, is named Terry Nation. Uh, so, basically, Terry Nation wants to come and destroy the Earth, but the Doctor with uh, plucky sidekick Jack there uh, is going to save the Earth, which is good for us. I mean, the Earth is where I happen to live. Now, quick introduction to the show before we jump into it. Uh, those of you who don't know, Doctor Who is a long-running show about an uh, intergalactic commando who travels through time and space, basically shooting bad guys. It's a really uh, unique and versatile format, and this game shows it off well. Uh, the Doctor has been played by 13 people in mainstream continuity so far. You get to pick between three of them uh, in the character select screen here. Uh, the way they explain that is the Doctor is a inherited title for the Commando team's best operative at any given time. When one dies, uh, the title moves on to the next one. Uh, on the other side, you see they usually travel with companions. We have uh, a boy named Charlie here and Chairman Mao, which you might think is an odd contribution but it's actually a reference to the classic story, Talons of Deng Xiaoping. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm only one person, so we're gonna go one player. Now, that right there is the TARDIS. It's a plain uh, phone booth, but the thing that sets it apart from other British phone booths is it isn't painted red. This is gonna be 
this game is a pretty standard shooter. Uh, it was hailed at the time for being really... Oh dear, the Daleks are after us. Yeah, we're being chased. You have to keep up a sort of minimum speed. Or they uh, catch up to you. Like I said, it was really um, technologically advanced for its time. A lot of reviewers uh, give it a lot of credit for that. Oh, some stuttering with the ROM. I don't think that was present in the original. But they always talk about how, oh, I didn't know the Amiga could scroll this well. Uh, this sewer sequence here is a reference to the story The Web Offer. Um, I'm trying to concentrate here. As you can see, I started with five lives, and I'm already down to two. This game, this game is balls difficult. Uh, I'm trying to rescue these people, but they're not really important other than... Oh dear. Uh, now we're going to try to fight uh, two-headed Nessie here. Uh, I'm just going to wait for a pause in the pattern. And... Whoop! Not far enough down. Oh dear. Now if I trade hits, I'm, I'm dead, as you can see. Which is pretty much what I'm doing. I, I don't like my chances for this at all. But it'll, it'll give me more time to talk. Yep, there, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna spend my credits. Yeah, spend some credits. I don't know where on my DOS box to put in more quarters. Honestly, if I had any um, modding abilities with DOS games, I would be all over adding some sort of god mode to this, just for LP purposes. Uh, now, interesting thing about the theme, it's pretty famous. Um, for one specific reason, you don't it doesn't come across in this uh, chiptunes version, obviously, that was playing, it's no longer playing. But it was one of the first television themes to have a full orchestra, which was really forward-thinking at the time. Um, a lot of other shows were doing electronic things when this show debuted in 1936. Uh, but no, they, they went in the completely opposite direction, and it's become a total classic ever since. You really do not want to hit those poison green things on the top, and I... Now, I'm not sure what double-headed Nessie is supposed to be a reference to. Uh, it might be those monsters from the rather creatively titled story, uh, Circus of Monsters. Oh, oh dear. L look at your health go down. That's terrible. I am terrible at this game. Now, I do have the Commodore 64 ROM, so... And that has a god mode. Pretty sure it's not in the original game, but the people who ripped the ROM put one in. Oh dear, this is just embarrassing. We're never going to get out of the sewer. We're never going to get to Planet Scaro. It's... It's sad. Oh, oh god. Oh... Look at that. I've, I've, I'm already almost dead. I swear, I got to the first level. I got upstairs to London once. Oh, I think that was on the other run. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, I should really concentrate. So, yeah, if, if anyone wants um, recommendations for where to get into the series, I am all for it. Honestly. Oh, I, I am... The, the hitbox doesn't wiggle with you on this flying segue. Uh, th this was actually used in the fourth Doctor story. Uh, oh, the title escapes me right now. Uh, Shadow. Shad, yes. Oh, oh. The, the, the good thing about these guys is they do start looking at the ceiling. I, I guess they've got a thing for bricks. Uh, now, maybe if I wait, they'll get bored and leave? Um, oh, one... Th oh. Re wait, seriously? Am I, am I allowed to... Seriously? No? Please? I want to I wanna go. Oh. I thought I found a thing. Ah. 
Hmm, let's try... Try a different doctor. Maybe we'll have better luck. Um, yes, no, maybe. All right. If I still have five lives. I'm doing better than ever so far. Until just then. But okay, I feel good about this run. Maybe I'll keep this. Oh god, don't distract me. No. Uh, interesting thing. Um, Doctor Who was where one famous writer you might know got his big break. Uh, he was writing on the book that uh, launched him to success at the same time he was writing a script. And then he became script editor for a few years, a few less than stellar years, to be honest. L. Ron Hubbard wrote a few Doctor Who stories. Uh, I know it's hard to believe um, to people who aren't insiders, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I have more lives than ever. You guys are going down. I'm going to just try to go hit for hit on these guys. If I rapid fire, I, I'm sorry that this is being picked up on the mic, but I really want to get to the actual first level. Uh, you are going down. Alright. Now this is a cutscene, I'm not in it. I believe those are grenades we picked up. It's kind of hard to tell with the graphics. Oh, oh, now I'm dead. What do you know? This is the best game ever.